everyone. How are you guys doing? It is Vlogmas for December 9th. Um, you guys, it's been so busy today. I went to work and had a good day at work. Um, and we're just trying to figure out who's all going to be around um, at the daycare for the next couple of weeks. And our numbers are going to be so low, you guys, that um, we're going to be struggling getting our hours in, I think. Uh, this is the last week with a couple of the kids. And uh, so we've been doing all of that. Um, my coworker did get the t-shirt for the program. So uh, I'm going to do the iron-ons for you guys tomorrow or um, when I do the iron-ons for the t-shirts. And then I will show you kind of the backdrop we're going to be singing and uh, kind of show you what we're going to be doing to finish out the program that I made for the daycare. Um, I'm so super excited to be able to be a part of that and do it for the parents. And then as soon as we get done recording the video and then give uh, the program as a CD with the t-shirt um, for the parents. So they're gonna love that. Um, talking about t-shirts, look at this. I have a t-shirt from my old job at the old daycare. It says the jolliest bunch of teachers around the nut house. <laughs> Um, or this side of the nut house, I think it says, uh, that is just so true. Um, you know, no, it doesn't matter which daycare you work at. If you are a daycare worker, uh, it's a nut house. It's craziness. Um, and, uh, it's fun, but, um, okay. I'm home for the night. I am going to be making some chicken nuggets and French fries for uh, dinner. And I have dishes that are in the dishwasher that are clean. I have dishes in the sink that need to be done. So we're gonna add that to this vlog. I uh, got my car in the garage, so I'm very happy. And tonight's weather is beautiful and I really hope and wish that I can finish up my wreath and put it on my door. Um, the only problem with that is it's uh, too big for my door and you can't see the letter of my apartment anymore. Um, I gotta figure that one out, you guys, because I would love to decorate outside my front porch. And I would like to do it tonight when it's 50 degrees outside. Um, it's gonna drop. It's gonna drop overnight and get cold again. So, with that said, uh, let's get started. Alexa, play some Christmas music. The station, holiday favorites, free on Amazon Music.
Okay, got this small little tree out front. Um, I have some gifts that I'm going to put here and I think a welcome canvas uh, sign to put on that door. Um, I did get my wreath made tonight here that I just made. Um, I did have this drapery here that I could have put in the window. I'm kind of thinking about doing that still, but it's really big. It doesn't really fit. Um, I could put that in the window. Let's see how that will work. How does that look? Guys. Um, it looks better in person than it does on camera here. Look at that in my window. Looks kind of cute. some little presents or something to put right there just for outdoor decoration all right guys um wow uh i don't know what to say you guys um i made dinner i put out the christmas stuff outside i cleaned up the kitchen i am exhausted i'm ready for bed and it's eight o'clock at night um I just want to uh, close this video out with uh, just letting you know how blessed I'm feeling um, being a single mom and being in a situation where I have that uh, decision making to take care of my home once again, take care of me once again, to take care of my children um, on my own. Um, God has... He's blessed me so much through my divorce. Um, you know, Satan comes in and destroys my marriage. And uh, he thinks that he has gotten away with, you know, practically uh, destroying everything in my life. And you know what it did? Um, it made me closer to God. And with that, I uh, feel like I have a new calling on my life as a single mom. Um, I feel like I can take care of my home a lot more, uh, and do the things I need to do for my home on my own. You know, it doesn't get done overnight, um, and it's hard. Sometimes I'm doing things I just don't know what I'm doing. Um, and that part is difficult, but I'm learning. I'm learning so much through the process, and I'm learning how to do things that I would never do if I was married. Um, I have fixed wash machines. I have uh, fixed plumbing. I have painted. I have tore up furniture. I have put furniture together. I have uh, done some heavy lifting. I have done a lot of things that I would think would be a man's job, and I have done it because I didn't have any help. Taking care of my home has always been a priority in my life. Um, and I can tell you, in my marriage, I didn't have it together. Um, I was very depressed in my marriage. Um, I didn't have that marriage that I wanted with my spouse. Um, we had a lot of times when we didn't get along. Um, we were unequally yoked. And... Uh, I needed someone who can do more than what I can do on my own. Um, I don't know how else to put it. Uh, there's a lot of things I have done on my own as a single mom. And, um, you know, when I look back at my marriage, I feel like it's not any different. Uh, I felt like I was alone in my marriage. I didn't ever feel like me and my spouse were one. And that's just to be honest with you guys. And so... As you see these videos of me taking care of my home and cleaning house and stuff like that, I did it uh, in my marriage too. 
but it's different for some reason uh, now that I'm single. I d can do it on my own time. I can do it when I feel like it. I can do it when um, I don't have any kids with me. Um, I can do it when I have the money. Um, there's a lot of things that I still would like to get or do, you know, when it comes to homemaking. Um, one of the things I really have on my bucket list that I want to do as a single mom is to pay cash for a house. I mean, it's a big order, something that I would love to do one of these days. Um, not going to happen tomorrow. <laughs> um, you know, I'm starting all over from scratch again. And um, I'm older. And I don't need as much. Um, I would love to have a tiny house. I would love to pay cash for it. I'd love to be out of debt. I would love to take care of my home. Um, I would love to do a lot of primitive homemaking videos for you guys. Um, going through the Bible and reading on God's Word and what it says on being a homemaker. Um, it is something I really want to do. Um, it is something I'm going to probably look into doing more for 2025 as I am doing things on my own. I want to live more simply. Uh, I don't want all of this stuff, but I do want to have nicer things. Um, things that don't fall apart, things that are solid, things that are, um, going to last the, the test of time. Um, I want to have a home that, uh, doesn't have a lot of clutter. Um, these are things I've been working on for the last three years since I've been single. Um, very, very difficult. Um, and that reminds me, uh, by the way, whoever ordered this Magnolia magazine for me, I love it. Thank you very much. Um, it's, uh, really cool. Oh, look, it's got the holiday touchdown, Kansas City Chiefs. Hallmark movie. <laughs> I love that. Um, but, uh, you know, I love to uh, have one of these homes one of these days uh, that is like a Magnolia home, you know, just very, very simple. I'm decluttered, free, and, um, you know, I might be thinking of the impossible, living in an apartment. Um, but I would like to have a more minimal and... Um, calming home and so you know it's one of my goals in my life um because I really do feel like you know uh Mary and Martha in the Bible you know how God uh showed up at the home and um one of them is trying to clean house and the other one is there serving God's you know and uh being there at his feet and, you know, that's where I want to be. Um, and there's two different types of people in this world. And, you know, there's the one that is just always decluttering and always cleaning up their home. And there are the ones that are allowing distraction in their life, you know, sin in their life. And then there's the other one who is going to follow God and serve him in everything they do whether it's uh, homemaking chores or working chores, or if it's marriage chores, or if it's, um, you know, single mom life chores. We all get to make these decisions in our life uh, of which type of person we're gonna be. And um, because my husband filed for divorce, I rededicated my life and I got back on track with my relationship with God. And he's really, really um, been talking to me about how I need to focus on uh, what it is he has for me and my goals in my life and those things that he is requiring of me um, speaking more softly and loving myself first and foremost and um, taking care of my health and taking care of my home and so as I am uh, getting back to being my regular self this next year I am going to be wanting to focus more on how can I be more um, Christ-like, you know, and following his word. And you're not going to know 
what it takes to be a Christ follower if you're not following God's word and you don't have that relationship with him and you know and you don't understand what it is that he is saying and so um, I'm going to start doing a lot more reading the Bible and getting into Bible studies and focusing on uh, my relationship with God. You know, um, the reason why my marriage fell apart is because we never dated, my husband and I. We uh, didn't pursue each other, and uh, we didn't do it before the wedding. We didn't do it after the wedding. Um, it was just one of those things that uh, it was really hard for us to connect in that way um, because of sin in our marriage. And so... Um, I want to move forward uh, in my life to have that oneness with God like I'm supposed to have. Um, you know, I want to try to do what's right. I want to focus on taking care of the things that God has given to me um, as I'm moving forward. I want to have a home where I can have Bible studies in and I can be organized and I can take care of my children and um, have laughter in my home and happiness and I can um, have a bigger family. Uh, I do want a bigger family. I want to have um, the chance of being able to uh, do those things that I have been passionate about for many, many years. Um, and I don't know how that looks for me. Uh, you know, I was thinking of the movie Under the Tuscan Sun and how she wants to have all these things. She wants to have love and she wants to have marriage and she wants to have um, a happiness in her home. And uh, what she was thinking was she wants all that for her. But uh, at the end of the movie, you find out, well, it was in her home already, but it was those it was for those people who are around her. And there was a wedding at her house. There was family and gathering of food at her house. And there was love. Um, and so, you know, those are one of those things that um, we have to strive for. If God gives us the desires of our heart, then we have to know that uh, there's a reason why he's put us where we are. Um, there's a reason why I'm divorced. There's a reason why... I am working where I'm working. There's a reason why I'm only three streets over from my spouse. There's a reason why I uh, need to even have my weight loss surgery. Um, you know, there's a reason why God has us right where we are. If there was no uh, use for us as w women and even single women, um, you know, we would have a different life than what we have or we'd be you know, dead. Um, so I just was thinking of all these things today at work um, that I want to do for 2025. And I was writing them all down. Yes, and I'm going to share them with you guys soon. Um, it's just been a, uh, a thought process. You know, I told you guys I was going to try to take it easy um, for the next couple of months. And even doing Vlogmas, uh, in December to end out this year. I'm still trying to take it easy, you guys. Um, I'm not shopping because I'm broke. I, um, don't really have very much Christmas. Uh, I have a little bit for my kids, um, at the daycare and I have a little bit for my children, but, uh, and my granddaughter, but I don't have any gifts for me. Um, and my gifts for me this year is going to be my weight loss surgery. My gifts for me is going to be taking care of me. And so um, I do have a gift card to take care of um, my hair once I have my surgery. And I'm so excited because it's like a $125 gift card to get some hair done. Um, you know, and I don't know what's going to happen uh, to my hair after the surgery. So... Um, even if I do lose my hair and I need to get a wig, I, uh, can actually get a new hairdo, uh, with whatever I have left on top of my head. And I do know that after my weight loss surgery, my hair will grow back. So, um, you know, I've got that. I'm going to be losing my weight. So I don't know how much, how I'm going to look. I'm hoping and praying that, you know, within a year I'm looking like I did in high school all over again. 
Um, and I don't know how that's going to be for me as recovery. Um, I do understand that I'm not going to be wanting to eat dinner anymore. And so, um, as I'm dieting and preparing for this weight loss surgery, I'm taking things a lot easier when it comes to food. Um, you're not going to see the recipes that I really want to do unless it's a bariatric surgery recipe in the next couple of months. Um, I am supposed to be doing a meal prep for the surgery and I just really don't because I'm not eating that much. Uh, I am taking my shakes and I am really concentrating on just protein, 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 protein. So um, as I am refocusing on my health, I am also going to be refocusing on uh, making some money and uh, getting through uh the new year and getting to breathe uh for the first time uh, since my divorce and um you know i started to be able to breathe and i was doing pretty good on my own after my divorce before this modification my ex-spouse pulled on me and um you know i was doing well i was doing really well and then this year it just like boom i just got knocked down with this modification and um i'm gonna be back i'm I, I really feel it i feel it i feel like i'm gonna be back to um doing what god has called me to do uh and um i'm moving forward in my life as a single mom and i'm very very excited for the things that are coming for me and my children uh, in 2025 and um, I'm excited to share that journey with you uh, with the changes that I'm going to be having I know things are just going to uh, get better from here and so I am just waiting for 2024 to end um, and I am trying to do a little bit of vlogmas for you guys and as I look back at this time and these videos you know moving forward I want to be able to say, you know, I did a good job. I did what I could with what I had at the time. And I have just um, had so many memories uh, as a single mom. And even since my divorce, great, great memories with me and my children and uh, the things that I've done in my life. And I am very, very proud of uh, what God has done for me and my children and, um, I, I'm not going to take anything for granted. I'm not going to take what I did have in my marriage ever for granted. Um, I was very happy and I loved my family and spouse, but uh, I am happy that I can um, be one with God like I should be. And and that's a choice that I have uh, and that I have made. And so um, I'm glad that I can do what God's word says. He says, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, think of these things. And so, um, you know, God also says, pray for anything. And if you have faith in it, you'll receive it. And so there's a lot of things that I've been praying for. And I know that nothing is impossible without God. And so, um, you know, God has got big plans, big, big plans for me. Um, he's given me glimpses of what I need to be doing. And uh, I've been making excuses this last year, going through all the things I'm going through. And I kept saying, uh, God, just wait. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. But uh, I think this year he's really pushed me into where he needs me to be and what he wants me to do with my life. So I'm feeling very, very blessed. And... Um, you know, I just really want to say thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart uh, to you all for uh, loving me and caring for me and helping me get through um, into the new year. Um, you guys, I couldn't have done this year without your love and support. And um, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And so I want to end this vlog for tonight. I'm exhausted. I'm going to go to bed. I am so tired. Um, and I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.